Okay. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. My name is Vagram, so you have not been watching my tutorial videos. I kind of expect that the folks watching my tutorials and mod guides have been the ones that would probably find this. But uh, if you're not, well, then welcome to the channel. Um, this is a kind of a new experiment for me. My last several videos have all been... Oh god, I better go find some wood. Um, my last several videos have all been... Um, guide and tutorial based really when it comes down to it uh so the concept of going through a let's play is kind of new but i do think it's a useful idea because i think it might help some others see maybe a slightly different play style a different way to play the oh i forgot to change my mode i do not want to keep in that um it might show them a different play style, a different way that they can actually experience Minecraft, or maybe just different tips and tricks for how to, you know, use it, use specific mods, and uh, just generally get around in the world. So, uh, this is mostly kind of a first episode, also a bit of a test episode. I'm not sure why I did that. Um, because I need to see if my machine can actually handle this recording. Um, I've never done something as long as a Let's Play. The longest I've ever done in terms of recording uh, was a 45-minute tutorial video on uh, the Digital Miner from Mechanism. That was a 45-minute long video. It was one wing ding of a recording session. Wow, did I just say wing ding? That's horrible. Um... But anyway, uh, it, it was a very interesting experience, and I think my machine will be able to handle it just fine. But, you know, just in case, this is kind of a pilot episode, if it goes well, if everybody thinks that it could be interesting and uh, could be entertaining for them, or useful, educational, whatever have you, um, then I think I will definitely pursue it further. So this is going to go up, and I'm going to wait for some comments. And some feedback from you, the viewers, to see what happens next. To see what you think about the video. Or what do you think about... Uh, I'm doing this to get some wool, by the way. I need a bed. Sorry, guys. I promise I will find and capture more of your brethren later. Um, no, nope, bad place. So, uh, what I want to do... What I wanted to do, and what I'm doing now, is uh, kind of record kind of this pilot test episode. This is my own mod pack. It's my devising. Um, it is comprised of about 60% mods that I know and I like and I'm interested in using, and about 40% mods that I have heard of or I have only briefly experimented with, but I haven't done a lot of gameplay with. So it is going to be part teaching experience from me to you, and part learning experience for both of us. By the way, I do have Tree Capitator installed, mostly because I think it kind of feels, it's kind of neat and useful, um, makes gameplay a little bit easier, but it also feels realistic to me because you're basically, you know, the whole lumberjack chopping down a tree and get to shout timber, that kind of thing. So um, that's what I'm doing right now is I am tree capitating some wood before the sun sets and I get assailed by zombies. Now, I think there were a couple of little holes that I can bury myself in here real quick. Oh, God. And I think this is going to kill my axe. Come on, wood. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, wood everywhere. Man, I'm going to make a, an item magnet. Oh. Okay. Is that all of it? That's all of it. Okay, there's more sheep that way. That's good to know. And down here on these shrublands, I'm pretty sure I saw like this. 
and that's really dark, and it's a dead end. Hey! That's a possibility right there. Here's a body of water. Go get myself some stone. gonna do that. There we go. So I get to the poke at things feet. <clears throat> okay. This is very dark for you and I do apologize. I will correct this momentarily, however, if you'll give me just a minute. There's some copper right there. I need to get some stone. So I actually make a furnace. That's going to be enough to get me started. Get that. That You know what? I like the white ones better. <laughs> there we go. Should be able to make a whole batch. Get some sticks and some charcoal. This table that I'm using is a table that's put in by Tinker's Construct, the crafting station. Um, all you actually have to do is make a normal crafting table and then put it back in your inventory right here. And you could pull it out as a stand-up version. If you put the stand-up version in, you can pull it out as a slab version. I kind of like the half slab version. It's very, very cool. Um, I'm making me some torches. So I... Can light up whoa, the neighborhood some... Oh, fiddle sticks. Hi. Okay. If that's how you feel. Um Those there actually. This is not too bad. I just make myself a uh, bit of a stairwell here, I'm going straight down. 
I will have to apologize, by the way. I have a bit of a cold right now, so I'm fighting sinus nonsense, and my voice is trying to go out. Uh, but I will endeavor to persevere. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Set myself into underground mode right there. Nope. Actually, you know what? I come down here and start clearing out. Getting some flint, which is definitely needed for some early game recipes. I'm also looking to uncover, aha, some osmium and iron and other things. But ore, ore has a very, very nasty habit of hiding behind gravel deposits. Another great place to look for ore is around lava pools. Now, I can't say factually that ore generates more heavily around lava pools, but it sure seems that way to me. So, it looks like there's no real cave systems to speak of down here. There's not that I've found as of yet. Um... Hmm. What is this? Oh, it's marble. Ooh, nice. Don't have a lot of use for it right now, but it's great decorative block. Mm, come on. Is there anything else interesting hiding out in here that I haven't found yet? See, I'm at Y level 52. That does not bode well. Hmm. Well, okay. Found some osmium. That's at least progress. I also now have a metric ton of gravel. Tell you what I'm going to do, though. Might seem strange to some folks, but it saves on the hunger bar. Need more stairs. Now I need more cobblestone. You know what I'm going to do with that last bit of cobblestone? Because my pick is fixing to die. There we go. Replacement tool. Woo! -hoo. Okay. And I think I see iron. Oh, whatever. Yep. There we go. Replacement. Three, four, five blocks of iron right there. That is what I was looking for. Okay. So, while I'm hacking away here underground, I figure we could talk a little bit about some of the mods I've got installed and why this is going to be a different mod experience for me much less for, potentially, for you. Um, there's some things that are considered must-haves in a lot of packs that I actually don't have installed in this one. For instance, I don't have forestry installed. Now, I know a lot of people that would gasp in shock right there, but I'm, forestry is getting long in the tooth. It has not changed 
significantly in quite a long time. And uh, it's just kind of been at one steady place. The biggest changes that have come to forestry have been in the form of bees and trees. And bees and trees don't make good video. I, I don't think it does. Uh, that's my personal opinion, though. You really have to be into that in order to sit there and watch it happen. But that's not the real big issue here. Um, I took out forestry. I don't have it installed. Ooh, it's daytime. Gonna take some of my saplings upstairs. Let's do like right here. Actually, we went to. Oh, dear God. Okay. I need another axe. Um, I don't have forestry installed, which means I don't have any of Benny's mods installed. Extra bees, extra trees. Um, there is no IC2 in this mod pack. Uh, my primary technical trees are going to be Mechanism, Ender IO, um, Thermal Expansion, uh, I'm going to be relying very heavily on those. I do have also installed. I have uh, Dawncraft 4. So I will try to make sure I don't spend a, an inordinate amount of time on camera actually researching things because I don't think that makes good video. And it's not very entertaining at least. Um, and, oh, oh, good grief. These things grow like crazy. Uh, and I have uh, Ars Magic installed. There's some other technical mods that are new to me uh, that I have installed, like, uh, let me think, Big Reactors. That's new to me. I haven't messed with it very much at all, and I thought it could be very, very interesting. Um, I have Mariculture installed. Uh, Mariculture is very, very interesting, and it looks very fascinating. I've never used it before. Heard great things about it. Thought I'd experiment with it. Oh, uh, let's see what else. I, of course, have some other old gold standbys um, installed, like, oh, <laughs> I have uh, applied energistics. I have build craft, mostly because it is needed by several other mods uh, that I am using. I have mechanism, atomic science, mine chem. Oh, what else? And a fair amount of other things. Bibliocraft is installed as, lo as long, along with Biblia Woods. I have um, Tinker's Construct and Natura installed, along with the new variation, the new uh, sub-mod that they have called uh, Tinker's Mechworks. I have not messed with that yet, so that's going to be new for me. So, yeah. Very, very excited about this. Okay. Those are... What is this? It's just a hole. Whoop! Creepers. Okay. It's nice to meet you too. Wow. There's just a big hole right there. Okay. I'm gonna cover that up. Can't get in or out. Awesome. Okay. So I've got a bunch of wood, more saplings, and now, actually you know what I'm going to do, first off, I do that, and Measly pork chop. Lamb chop. Sorry. Lamb chop. So that's one thing I'm going to have to do is go do some exploring soon so I can come up with a uh, better source of food. I need to make my bed. Literally. I mean. Dig out some stuff. 
place right here. And only sleep at night. Okay. Don't need the axe downstairs, but I do need a new shovel soon. Sounds like gravel. Okay, it may seem like a kind of an absurd notion to keep using the stairs. There is a rationale to it, however. Um, using the stairs in your mine shaft means that you're not jumping as much, which means inherently that you're cutting down on your food usage. That was kind of stupid. What is that? Oh, yellowite. Okay. Yeah. See what? Yellowite is from big reactors. It is an ore that gets used as a power source in big reactors. And I expect big reactors is going to become my mid to late game power source very, very quickly. Big reactors actually generates power uh, generates, I think, RF, redstone blocks, which is the power for, good grief, this is a lot, um, which is the power from uh, thermal expansion now. Um, it generates RF, but RF can be converted uh, for use with mechanism, uh, or, you know, it's all compatible. Um, so that is very, very nice. Patch all that up, good grief. Um, is that nope, that's not the last of it. That is absurd. Copper, but copper is not really that useful to me right now. It's much more useful. Um, when it comes to Geronimo. Uh, Mid-game, when you actually have... Well, late early game, I guess we can call it, actually. Okay, back to an ugly tunnel. Uh, put one there. And just start digging again. I am really surprised. That I have not run across more of a cave system. You know what the next best thing is? Gravel. These big gravel pockets are awesome. Because they're easy to get through real quick with a shovel. And you end up uncovering lots of goodies. Now, this is Certus Quartz. It's from Applied Energistics, of course. It's not going to be of any use to me early game. Probably not even mid game. It's going to be a while before I have any kind of a... Um, AE system, where I can even afford one, much less consider affording one. Uh, so, there's another use for it. And I can show you, those are not familiar with uh, not enough items, which is what this interface is. You can just hold this, hold your mouse cursor over there and hit U, and you get recipes. So basically, they have their own version of the wrench, and this wrench is actually usable in a lot of different mods. I've used it in apply in uh, Ender IO before. It's not as flexible as the EIO wrench, but it's still usable. I've used it with build craft machines, and I've used it with mechanism stuff. So that is actually a pretty good wrench. Um, but you can make shovels, hose, p 
pickaxes, axes, swords, whatever. And those are all the equivalent durability and the equivalent digging effectiveness of, let me reorganize some things here, of iron. So early game, if you can't afford to get rid of iron, if you can't afford to use iron on tools, save your iron. And use Sirtis Quartz instead. I tell you what, let me do some more digging down here and I will come back and give you a status update before we wrap things up, let you know what kind of progress I made. Be right back. First diamond! Woohoo! Yeah! And how many do I get? Four. Five. Nice catch. All right. Just wanted you guys to be there for that. My first diamond of the series. And I get five in one run. And I almost killed myself stepping in the lava. But Okay. I'm back. Crisis temporarily averted. I have my trusty sickle. And I have an entire field of wheat up here. The only trouble is barley, excuse me, that this stuff doesn't replant naturally. So I kind of have a one-off starter supply of food. And that's about it. So, I'm just getting myself some barley here. Make some wheat out of it, which then I can make into bread. I think it's about to break. There it is. Okay. I'm going to have to come back here and get a whole bunch more. Um... I'm not sure I even knew about that biome. I've never seen one of those generate before in Biomes of Plenty. Uh, okay. So, my option is to turn it into wheat. And then I'm going to grind that up. I've got some of the seeds. I actually came over here for some birch trees because I wanted some wood alternatives to everything being made out of cherry wood. And I like birch. Birch is a good tree. So I'm going to hack down a couple of these and I will meet you back at the base where we can wrap up this first session. Okay. okay. It's daytime now on a full stomach. I'm going to open up my front door. I just heard an Enderman popping around a few minutes ago. But, there he is. I'm going to ignore him. I finally have a full stomach. I've got my own little garden that I'm starting here with wheat seeds. This is a pool of water from our four Ars Magica. It's one of the primary reasons why I dug my hole here. These are my cherry trees and I'm just gonna pop down a couple of birch as an alternative. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Zombie. You've got a helmet. Where are you going? Come here. I want your stuff. Oh god. Whoops. Ah, yep. Oh, it should also be noted that I had gravestones turned on from open blocks. But, ooh, no wonder. I got myself some free armor. No wonder it was so tough. Um,. I had gravestones turned on from open blocks, which means that I would spawn a grave when I died. And uh, I'd have to go get my stuff from the gravestone in order to reclaim my things. 
but I've died twice so far, and uh, in the first section of the video, and lo and behold, I didn't have any actual gravestone drop, which means that it was bugged for me, and I lost a whole bunch of stuff. So what I've had to do was turn that off temporarily. Give myself a kind of a marker here. That's good. Just put some lights up. Okay. I've got a whole bunch of my bread now that came from the barley that I turned into wheat. Uh, I've got my hobble going on. My mine is down there and it's coming along nicely. I haven't hit bedrock yet, but I've been dawdling around with a whole bunch of other things first, namely food. So things are going well for session one, and I think we're going to call it here. I'll do some mining in between episodes, and next episode I should have a better setup, maybe in a house. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you on this next episode. Bye.